first oh. guest tonight is a very talented man who plays a legitimately madman, the psychotic and murderous Sheriff Roy Tillman in season five of Fargo. Well, Agent Jaqueen, I think you'll find that there is no one on God's green earth who is a greater enforcer of the laws of this land than Roy Tillman. Why do I feel like there's a but here? But what you need to know is that I am the law of the land, elected by the residents of this county to interpret and enforce the Constitution given unto us by Almighty God. Mm -hmm. Freedom. Amen. New episodes of Fargo are Tuesday nights on FX and the following day on Hulu. Please welcome John Hamm. There's some full painters here. Be very careful. <laughs> How are you? Good to see you. I'm great. Thank you. It's good to be seen. I have to tell you, well, you know, because I texted you yes. when it happened, how excited I was that you are going to be up Fargo, because I love Fargo. I mean, me too. I was just as excited when they said, hey, you want to be on Fargo? I was like, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> tell me where. Was it as simple as that? Did you know what you are getting into? Did well, you know I showed me? up to Fargo, North Dakota, and they're like, we don't shoot here. You know that, right? <laughs> I was like, oh. I should probably find that out first. You're in Canada, right? Yes. Yeah. Cal beautiful Calgary, Alberta. Calgary, Alberta. Uh, and when I say beautiful, I mean freezing cold. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the things about Fargo. It is, it, you shoot it when it's cold. Wow. That's how it goes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, I've, I don't remember, you know, because in Celsius, zero is freezing. I know, it's much colder in Celsius. So you go, well, zero in our thing is really cold. Right, so Zero's yeah. normal there, but then it gets down to like minus 30, and you go, this is not safe. And then, <laughs> and then you have to be naked, which I'm not sure, did you know that was gonna be the case? I thought I had a rider in my contract that was like, naked's fine. Cold naked cold is naked, not great. Yeah. I'm more of a warm, warm naked. like, yeah, warm naked. I've always said that about you. He's kind of a warm naked guy, yeah. Beautifully warm naked. <laughs> I, you know that clip? That's a great scene. That is a really fantastic scene. I feel like we need to see <laughs> there might a, be little a little bit more of, of the scene. rest of the scene, though, yeah. Does my discussing matters of state and moist repose bother you? It's a classic scene, it really is. It's an instant classic <laughs> is what it is. It tells you all you need to know about this I didn't maniac. know my butt looked like that with all the pixels. I just, that's weird. I, <laughs> I looked in the mirror, I was like, wow, it really is pixelated. <laughs> <laughs> you, um, now, when, when your co-stars, we saw the back, what are the actors in the front scene at that time? The glory of God's uh, creation, really. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> There's no that and a flesh-colored sock that is cinched around. It's not pleasant. None of it's pleasant. What do they call that thing? There's a name for it, right? Well, they call it a <laughs> sock, Jimmy. Yeah, uh -huh. that's, that's, yeah, yeah. Thank you very not, much. That's Thank not you. actually what I was going for, but I think there's... <laughs> and that is something that you affix yourself, or is there a <laughs> sock handler? If there is, I did not use that. You didn't that. have one, yeah. Uh, I was, I was hands-on for you that You tied one it myself. on yourself. Going on 52 years of experience. Yeah, you know that, how to so, do it. Yeah, yeah. I'm real good. <laughs> and how tight does that get cinched up? Is tight it... enough. Yeah. <laughs> tight enough so it ain't going anywhere. You had two nipple rings in the in that scene as well. I sure did. It were was the, a lot. Were those real? Oh no. Oh. No. Okay. Well, they were real nipple rings pierced through a fake nipple, if that makes any sense. You were wearing fake nipples? <laughs> yes, I was. <laughs> There's a, there is a, a prosthetic uh, department that was uh, put. There you go. Oh. Oh, wow. Magic doesn't happen by itself, Jimmy. 
There's a whole, that guy's whole job was he, making nipples. He went to college for There's the people making. at Gerber, and then there's this guy that makes nipples. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do today, honey? I had to do a couple of ham nipples, and uh, yeah, it was a great day. So you had two nipples on nipples. You had like quadruple nipples there. I, I was, it was the first time in my life I had four nipples. Oh wow! Uh, and they really pierced those. Come in handy so, yeah. if you have twins or something like that. You know, you really pitch in. I kind of wanted them to kind of do like that, and maybe you know, kind of get a whole thing going, but they, they said no. Yeah, maybe a sci-fi. That's a different. That's I think Noah Hawley is doing Alien. Maybe, maybe you could that have something one. Exactly. like that. Yeah, they could do that. You um, yeah. I don't know, by the way, congrat I'm, I've said this to you in person, but congratulations. I have to give you an official television congratulations on getting married. Thank you. Your uh, beautiful wife, Anna. It seems very nice, very sweet. Thank you for your lovely gift. Uh, it, it, was, it only took me half a century, but I figured, you know, I might, might as well get it right. So yeah. here we go. But yeah, it's yeah. It's very exciting. We did it this summer uh, in beautiful Big Sur. It was a perfect day. Uh, the, it was uh, very sparsely attended but on our on our, you know, by our uh, decision, it was mm -hmm. small. And uh, man, it was great. You met, uh, in the same way I met my wife at work. At work. You met on the last episode of Mad Men. We did. And, and that we, was shot? At the very same place we ended up getting married. So full circle moment. Yeah, for sure. Came all the way around. I, I don't know why, but the first thing I wonder when I hear a story like that is, did they give you a, like a discount? discount? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, yes. <laughs> they did, okay. <laughs> they good. They should give you a discount. Uh, yeah, it was great. It was, it was, it, it had changed hands uh, since the time, this was about nine years ago, so it changed hands uh, at the time. It was still a beautiful piece of property right on the Pacific Ocean. We got married on a cliff and we chose to walk the correct way after we, uh, we got married. So yeah, there was right, nobody, yeah. and Tall John was the officiant. Oh, our mutual friend uh, Tall John. My wife is about six feet tall. I'm a little over six feet tall, so we needed somebody tall. Tall John is six, seven, I think, six, yeah. Six, Six seven on a good day. I think yeah. he was about six ten. We made him stand closer to the cliff. So, yeah, sure. You know, kind of a thing. <laughs> Couple of steps down. Just and... down, just close <laughs> enough to make sure he wasn't going to do anything crazy. And then you had your first uh, Thanksgiving as husband and yes, wife. Yes, we did. Uh, but not fortunately, not my first time. I, I'm in charge of the turkeys, and we had two because we had 15 people at our house, which is how many pounds turkeys? Uh, one was 18, one was 16. Now, did, when you went back and added it all up, did you realize you made a pound of turkey for each person yes. there, which is a lot of turkey? Here was here's why I love my wife, too, because we got the turkeys, and I'm pulling them out of the thing, and I'm wrestling them into the brine, and she goes, I don't think we have enough turkey. I was like, we have plenty of turkey. <laughs> we have well over you know, 36 pounds of turkey, whatever it is. It's, it's, and it was, we had plenty. We had yeah, leftovers, sure. we had sandwiches, we had soup. It was great. You have to have the leftover. That's the thing. You have to also have to have a... Why it's my favorite, I'm sure. It's, it's probably your favorite, too. It's my, my favorite holiday because there's just so much good food. Do you guys eat ham or is that weird? We don't do ham. You don't do ham? No. <laughs> yeah, sure. All right, well, we're going to take a break. I have something special that... Um, I want to run by you when I'm we excited come back, to hear about okay? It. John Hamm is here. Fargo is his show. You can watch it on FX. We'll be right back. We're back to John Hamm, star of Fargo, which you can see on FX. And the next day on Hulu, John. All right. I'm seeing what you're wearing. I'm reminded that the last time you were here, which was 2019, yes. Which was a long time ago. <laughs> it seems like a whole world. We ago, had a whole it? pandemic in the middle of the brand that. New pandemic that we you all got to experience. You were wearing a blue suit because your beloved St. Louis Blues were um, were in, the, I think, the conference finals. Yes, they were. And then they went on. They to went win on to win the whole the dang Stanley thing. Cup. Yes, and, they did. And I know that was a big thing for you. Big time. Did they thank you for? Did they thank me? Uh, <laughs> not specific. No, they were like we couldn't have done it without Ham. Uh, <laughs> But, I mean, they probably couldn't have. It, I, I, they prob most probably couldn't exactly. have. Now you're wearing the blue suit again. Do you, like, know the guys? Do you get to know the players? You get I, I do. Yeah. I, I know quite a few of them. And obviously, you know, guys get traded and they, they retire, yeah. everything. You know, the sports happens. But uh, the, the, the best thing was that some of the guys that I know are still on the team, and they were just in uh, L.A. They played the Kings and the Ducks. Mm -hmm. So they had a long weekend here in town. And they said, hey, if you're in town, come to the rookie dinner. Uh, oh. We're having we're having taken all the rookies out, so I got to go to the rookie dinner. You I, did, yeah. Then the, the rookies are in you know tutus and cowboy hats, and they have to sing a song and everything. And it, did you it, speak? I just said thank you. you I just, mean, it was yeah. yeah. Oh, I, what I, what I really should have said was you're welcome. Yeah, for well, sure. <laughs> you um, 
I have a favor to ask of you. Yes. And I hope you don't mind me asking this, but um, uh, we have a gentleman in the audience tonight <laughs> who is selling his uh, vehicle on Craigslist. <laughs> uh oh. Now, he uh, is, uh, uh, his name's Rich, and um, Rich, what kind of car do you have, Rich? It's a 2004 Old Zolero. Okay, and how much do you want for that car? $2,000 American. $2,000 US, wanna make that clear to any of the hockey players here. <laughs> um, and let's put the ad, um, let's see, that is the posting, 2004 Oldmobile, You've, uh, there's some spelling Problems here. Uh, old mobile. Well, it is an old mobile, to be fair. <laughs> You're right. A raro. I think you meant a laro there. But anyway, it's two thousand dollars. And John, I know you have done many voiceovers for high-end vehicles, automobiles. I think we can do better on a lot of levels than that ad. I think that. Yeah. I think, not only proofreading. So I. What we've done is we've come up with a script for the car. It's been approved by Rich, and um, would you mind voicing it over? I would love to. That would be great. So here we go. What is fortitude? The strength to overcome adversity. The tenacity to never quit. And the resilience to keep moving forward, no matter the odds. Experience the indomitable spirit of Rich Baroe's 2004 Oldsmobile Alero. A peerless reminder of excellence. A car so ahead of its time that the entire Oldsmobile brand folded the year after it was produced. With a four-cylinder, 2.2-liter engine, law lovingly driven for more than 150,000 miles, nothing can stop it. Not even the eucalyptus tree that fell on it earlier this year. The cracked front window is artfully spiderweb. The roof bowed in an elegant arc. And the rear window, gone. Because who needs to look back when the road ahead is so wide open? Rich Baroe's 2004 Oldsmobile Alero, priced at only $2,000. American. Visit Craigslist for details. It makes a great Christmas gift. What do Rich? you think? <laughs> There's another you're welcome. Rich, are you on are you on Tinder or anything? Anything else John can help you with? <laughs> Not yet. Give me time. All Fair right. Enough. Well, thank you so much. John Ham, everybody. See you next time. Fargo Tuesdays at 10 o'clock on FX and the following day on Hulu. We'll be back with Carrie Coon.